Hello everyone, it's Official Pilot here, and today I'm doing a video that a few of you guys have requested. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, a couple years back, I think now, I uploaded a video on how to uh, install mods for the Mac version of the Open Spades game, uh, which is just a different client for VoxLab. Um, now, for those of you, you who don't know, uh, there's a large modding community for the game, but for Mac users it's pretty much impossible, at least back when I tried it, it was impossible to install mods on open spades without a lot of fiddling just due to the way that Mac handles zip files, because whenever you uh, decompress and recompress its packages, eh, it can't see them anymore, so it just re-downloads them and ignores them. So that made modding a lot more difficult than it was on Windows, say. So because of that, I uploaded it a tutorial video on how to do it, which worked for some people. Um, it got quite a good reception, and I think it worked for most of you guys, but there was a lot of you guys still struggling, and a lot of you guys who didn't, mm, or didn't, weren't having the success that others were having, so I decided to go back and write an installer that would do it for you guys. So that works for both Mac and Windows, although Windows users really shouldn't need it, because uh, it works so easily on Windows. Anyway, uh, but for you Mac users out there, I went and wrote that installer, and although it's still in early versions, it does work. Now, uh, a couple of you guys requested a tutorial video on how to actually go and use the installer, because it's not the most straightforward thing in the world at the moment. Um, so I thought I'd make this video and I'd go through how to use it so you guys can start using the installer. Now, for you Mac users, you may have noticed I'm not actually on a Mac anymore. I am on a Windows now because I changed laptops. Uh, don't worry though, I haven't forgotten you guys and the installer is still mostly for you guys because I know the pain and you, you guys are the reason I'm making this video. So, essentially, I'm going to show you guys how to do it on Windows because that's the machine I'm using, but the commands and the usage will be identical on Mac because I've set it all up so that it looks and works identically. So let's get started. The first thing you guys are going to want to do is open Terminal. That's in your Applications folder and in Utilities. Alternatively, you can search for it in Spotlight. Uh, I'm going to be using Command Prompt. It's basically the same application, a bit different, but you guys don't need to worry about that. Now, if you've never used Terminal before, it's going to be a bit scary, but Trust me, when you get used to it, it'll be worth learning, because it'll give you a lot more power to do a lot more things with your laptop, or desktop, depending on what you're using. Anyway, uh, you're going to open it up, and you're going to be in a directory similar to mine. You guys won't be in the C drive, because Mac doesn't have that. You will probably be somewhere like uh, there, or whatever your username is. Either way, it's irrelevant. So let's start off by finding the location of the installer. So, you guys have downloaded my installer, presumably. If you haven't done that, go do that yet. The link will be in the description. But, um, you should un extract the folder, and you'll get this this folder here. Now, you guys are going to run this file. I'm going to run this file because I'm on a Windows computer, but it's the same thing. But don't double-click them because that's not going to work. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Terminal, knowing where, knowing where we are. So, in my case, I'm in Downloads, right? In the folder OS Mod Installer. So, uh, you guys are going to find the path where you have saved yours, and then you're going to type cd, followed by a spacebar, followed by the path to your uh, your OS installer directory. So I'm going to do uh, downloads forward slash OS mod installer, and I'm going to hit enter. That will be different for you guys depending on where you've done it, uh, but a good rule of thumb is it's probably in your downloads if you haven't changed anything. Right, so now that you're in the folder, uh, you can type ls just to make sure. You should see this sort of output. It'll probably look a little bit different on your machine, um, but the files should all be there. That lets you know you're in the right directory. So now we're here. You guys are going to do this. I'm going to, when I run the command, I'm going to go os mod installer.exe. You guys aren't going to do that because you're not on Windows. So what you guys are going to do instead is you're going to go dot dash os mod installer dot sh and you're going to replace every time you see osmodinstaller.exe you're going to replace that with dot dash osmodinstaller.sh that's just how mac and linux systems work so anyway let's continue i'm going to go with osmodinstaller.exe i'm going to put a space bar next to it now we're going to go and we're going to find some mods that we want to install so in this case i have some mods on my desktop 
uh, in the installation directory because I was testing a whole bunch of things out so I've made a mod directory for myself that has some models and related things like that in it. Now keep in mind this does have to be a compressed zip file currently um, and it, there's only a couple of directory structures supported. The first and easiest and the structure with the best results is this structure where you've got all the correct folders that say laid out. So you've got models, weapons, SMG or whatever other else uh, kind of mod you're using and then all the files for that mod. Uh, however some mod um, layouts just have weapons and then all the files for that for that weapon. Um, that's not ideal but that's supported. There are other files, systems and file formats I haven't written support for yet but if you guys want it I'll do it. But this is the one we're going to go over first. We'll cover the uh, other structure second. So if you've got a directory structure like this then that's great. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab oh, we're going to grab our terminal window and we're going to go to grab the mod file and we're just going to drag the mod file into our terminal window I mean let go and you'll see it'll paste in the path that will be different for you guys of course but it will paste in the path to that mod file now the next thing we're going to do is hit the space bar again now we need to find the base skin.pack file few Mac users that are watching this video, you guys have probably tried and failed to mod open space for yourself, so you probably know where that pack file is. But if you don't, it should be in your open space directory. You'll have open spades um, dot app, and you'll right click on it, and you'll go show package contents, and then there'll be contents, and somewhere in there you'll be able to find a resources folder where all of these files are contained. On Windows, it's a bit different. I go into resources straight away, and they're all here. So this is this is the file you're looking for here. Pack. 010 base skin pack. This is the file that we're going to modify to contain all mods. Everything else here you shouldn't touch because it's just going to make your game crash and it's not going to end well. This is the skin we want to be working with. Not the skin, sorry, the, the pack file. So what we're going to do is the same thing as before. We're going to grab our terminal window and we're going to drag our base skin pack in. This lets the installer know where you want to install mods to. That's good if you have multiple installations or you just want to test things out without breaking your current installation. It just lets the installer know where to look. So with that all set up, we're going to press enter. Now in make case it's going to ask for permission. Yours shouldn't do this because you're on a Mac, but I'm going to hit yes. And it's going to do all these copies and say finished copy installation complete. At this point, you're done. Ignore that message. That only comes up on Windows. Um, but you guys are done. It should be installed now. Uh, you can launch OpenSpades and hopefully everything's gone to plan. Um, so that's that's the easiest that's the easiest method. Uh, but let's for a second imagine you didn't have the privilege of having such an easy mod. So let's say you had a mod that was a little bit more difficult to install. Say this structure. So you have models, and then you just have all of your KV6 files in there. Now this is a bit harder because um, it's not in the most ideal format, but I have written support for it. So these are the only two structures at the moment. There's more coming if you guys are going to use them. But uh, we're going to do the same thing as before with a little bit of a difference. So we're going to open up terminal again. We're going to go OS mod installer.exe. Remember, you guys are going to do OS, sorry, dot dash OS mod installer dot sh instead. And then you're going to put the space and you're going to drag in your mod zip file. Uh, do space again, and then you're going to drag in your pack file again. Oops. But this time, you're going to put another parameter on there. You're going to put another space, and you're going to go double hyphen mo uh, mod type, and then put another space, and now you're going to write the type of the mod you're trying to install. So let's say this mod directory structure that I just showed you, the models and then all the models, say that actually uh, is a mod for a rifle, right? Then you would write rifle here. If that was a SMG, you would do SMG or spade or player or grenade or whatever you guys are trying to install. So in this case, I'm going to assume it's a rifle mod, and so I'm going to do mod type rifle, and that means it's going to install it correctly. Again, we just hit enter, we click yes, it's going to go through and install everything, and then we're done. Um, so for you guys, I hope it works. It works in all the tests I've done, but then I only have access to two machines, one of which is quite old these days. So I haven't been able to do massive amounts of testing with it, but on the machines I've tested it on, it's worked so far. Uh, unfortunately, it's only those two directory structures that are supported, 
but there's more coming in the future like I said if you guys want it let me know and I'll do it for you guys um, and if you have any questions don't feel um, uh, sorry feel free to ask in the comment section I'll, I'm pretty active I try and respond to everything you guys ask so let me know if you have any uh, issues or if there's anything you want clarification with um, so until then uh, the link to this install is in the description and I hope it helps you guys thanks I'll see you next time